Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to make some really cute little tea light holders using some jars. I grabbed a plate, uh, Epsom salt from the Dollar Tree, Mod Podge, and a paintbrush. And that's pretty much all you're going to need along with your jars. This first one, I'm going to remove the top, that one I had just gotten from the Dollar Tree, which I really like because it has that built-in tea light holder. So we're just going to liberally coat that and Mod Podge, get it nice and covered. And then again, I got this Epsom salt from the Dollar Tree and we're just gonna roll the jar right into that. We're just gonna make sure that everything is covered with Epsom salt. Use your fingers, just make sure you hit any bare spots. And the bottom too, the bottom's important. That's kind of easy to forget. <laughs> so you definitely wanna get the Epsom salt on the bottom rim as well. And this mason jar I just had sitting around the house, so I figured why not? So we're gonna coat that in Mod Podge too, as you just saw, and up some salt. And then I set these aside for about 10 minutes. Um, I'm still gonna have some Epsom salt kind of flaking off as I'm doing this, putting on the foliage and the twine, but that's okay. Uh, any, any spots, I'll go through it again and then just add a little more Epsom salt to those areas because we'll do the final seal when it's done. You could do it before this, before adding on the foliage, uh, which would probably actually be easier, but I was already downstairs doing this, so I finished it off and then I sealed it, but. I just added twine, just kind of wrap that around the top of each jar. I did two of these for the video. This first one I'm doing just as general decor in my house. Um, we have a lot of lighter colors and I'm using some lavender foliage. So I just wrapped, you know, the top as you saw there in twine. I'm going to secure some extra strands on the back. And then I'm going to add some lavender foliage that I believe I got at Hobby Lobby last year or the year before. I just kind of had it laying around. So we'll add that and then some Spanish moss. And then the second one I'm doing for you guys uh, is kind of like a holiday version. But you can do this for any occasion. You can definitely add some fall foliage uh, with some leaves or um, things like that, acorns, nuts for fall. You can add butterflies or sunflowers or tulips or for summer too as well. These I'm using as candle holders, but like with the mason jar, you can actually use that as a vase as well. They're really pretty, especially when the sunlight hits these. If you put them in front of the window and you use them as a vase, that sun comes in and it just kind of twinkles and sparkles through the salt crystals, which is really neat. Finishing touch on this one, just adding some Spanish moss on top of that lavender, and then I'll trim the twine. Cute! And then I'm doing a Christmas version like I mentioned, so I just grabbed um, just a little piece of garland that I had just so I could add some green on there. I've got some frosted cranberries that I got from the Dollar Tree. And what else did I add to that? Oh, there's like these little twiggy branch things that they have the Dollar Tree as well, and they have like little crystals on them. So I just snipped off a couple of the ends of that. Okay, and that one's all set. And I'm gonna take these, well, what I did is I took them outside and I just used some clear um, glaze and I just sprayed them. This just gives that up some salt, some added security to stick to the jar. Like I said, you could do that before you add the foliage. I just chose not to, it really doesn't matter, um, but it'll just kind of help make sure that those crystals are adhered. And this is what they look like when they're all done. Aren't those pretty, you guys? And then 
I also did a short little snip up too. I put some little fake uh, tea lights. Once again, you can get them from the Dollar Tree and I put them inside and this is what they look like in the dark, lit up. So very, very pretty. If you guys have any questions, just let me know and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.